Hi everyone, my name is Franz Huber and I'm coming to you live here from a, a rainy and wet uh, Cape Town, South Africa. But all is good, they need the rain. This week in The Exceptional, we talked to Demi Lee Nell Peters, the reigning Miss Universe 20, 2017. And we discuss with her how she's using this platform of Miss Universe to inspire and motivate people around the globe um, being South African and, and, and staying true to her roots, uh, we discuss her, her unbreakable campaign where she shows and teaches women around the world how to defend themselves in difficult situations. But more importantly, we look at, at goal setting and how, how, what she did to, to give 150% to become Miss Universe. Now, if you found value in this, if, if you watch this and listen to this, do me a favor. Don't just watch and listen. Participate. Go and comment on this on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the exceptional YouTube channel. All the links are down below. So, for now, be exceptional and enjoy this. Cheers. Hi Demi, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us on uh, on the exceptional today. Um, it's a privilege and honor to speak to you today and, and really get your story um, behind your crowning as, as Miss Universe and, and really getting the background as well, um, inspiring other people to, to be exceptional. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Francia, and thank you for having me. Um, I honored to have this platform to be able to share my story and um things that i've learned in the past so thank you for giving me that opportunity as well no it's a pleasure i think the the first thing that everyone wants to know is what was your first thoughts after you heard this um after i heard that that i won What was your first thoughts after you heard that? Well, I, honestly, um, thinking back, it's, it's about five months ago now, and mm. I saw remember that evening like it happened last night. And, I mean, it was just, it was, it was a big relief, but um, it was just excitement and um, happiness overflowing completely. And honestly, that whole evening throughout the whole Miss Universe pageant, I was just so content. And um, I remember standing there holding hands with Miss Columbia, my runner up, and mm. just being so content because I knew that I have done absolutely everything in my capabilities to be as best prepared as I possibly could be, that I've given this my 150% and that I can look back at this competition knowing that I think that I could have done better and that I truly was the best version I could have been in that moment in time. Uh, that's amazing. And I must say as a fellow South Africa, and I think the whole South Africa, we are super proud of you and uh, whatever you're doing and, and where you're doing in the world, in America, coming back to South Africa, we are super proud of, of you and uh, the inspiration that you offer all of us. How Thank important you. is it? Uh, it's a pleasure. How important is it for you? Um, to believe in your own capabilities uh, to, to accomplish your goals? Well, I always say, um, you know, if, you, if you're not able to believe in yourself and in your capabilities, how do you expect anybody else to? Mm. Um, and yes, there are some exceptions where um, sometimes we do need motivation. Sometimes we do need, um, you know, somebody telling us that you are great and you can achieve greatness. But I think it is so important because you know yourself better than anybody else and you know what what you want in your life and you know your strengths and your weaknesses better than anybody else um so i think it is so important to to be able to believe in ourselves and um if we can do that we can do anything i, I think it's so true and like you said if, if we don't believe in ourselves how are we going to convince anyone else to to believe in in you and it all starts with you um I it does. well it really Demi, does. Yeah, Demi, what do you what do you define as as being successful? What what's your definition of success? 
um, love that question because I, you know, some people might define as 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 money or fame um but to me success is what makes you happy um we are all individual beings we are all different we all have different interests and what what might make me happy and what i define as success would probably be totally something else to you and um i just think you know whatever makes you happy, whatever gives you joy, whatever makes you get up in the morning and just want to take the bull by the horns and make the best out of your day. I feel that that is, is, is essentially what success is. Mm. So you're saying success is, is really being, being honest with yourself and uh, just doing what, what you love when you want to do it and how you want to do it. Yes, and I think being content with where you are in, in that point in your life, I, I believe that we all have seasons in our lives that we go through and um, we grow and we change and that is 100% fine and our interests change. So it, essentially our, um, our visual of success will change and grow as we grow. Yeah. As you can be more successful and, and more aware and your followers, you've reached a million followers on Instagram just a few weeks ago. And so have you experienced any negativity? We see it all the time on, on social media, uh, people trolling haters, so to say, about your success. Have you been exposed to that and how are you handling that? Um. I wouldn't really say that I have haters um, because I, I don't want to look at them like that. I think it's just people that have different interests than I, than I have and they might not like the things that I stand for and that I do. And that is fine because as I said before, you know, we all are so different and, um, but yes, I, I have received negativity and there is, you know, people don't always like the things you do or that you wear or the way you hair your, wear your hair and that is fine. But when you embark on a journey like this, you're going to know, you got to, you got to know that, um, you're not going to be able to please everybody and you're not going to be able to make everybody happy. And, um, the, how I handle that is just by knowing what my heart stands for and, um, why I am doing certain things and why I'm passionate about certain things. And if I know that I am doing the right thing, that I have the best intentions um, and that, you know, I'm always so careful of um, just, I'm always just so, uh, how can I say this? Just really cautious of being hurtful towards anybody or being insensitive towards anybody. So, um, so yeah, you do get that negativity, but once again, if your heart is in the right place and if your intentions are right and you know that, um, you should be fine. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, I've, I've, as I spoke to, to various other people as well, they say negativity comes, it's, uh, it's part for the course, course almost. And uh, just um, how you're dealing with it, some people take it on as fuel to, to achieve more. Others feel again, well, like yourself, being sensitive towards that. And uh, it's how you handle it. Uh, and it's a great attitude what you have towards that. I must also say the moment people stop talking about you, that's when you have to start worrying. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Demi, um, I work with a lot of business owners and, and entrepreneurs and so on. And one of the things that I, that I encounter and, and one of the excuses that I, that I overcome or, or hear from them is, uh, yeah, but my circumstances. Yeah, but this, um, I wasn't dealt the, the right hand. Um, I didn't have the opportunities. What is your thoughts on that to overcome your circumstances and, and where you are in life uh, to, to ultimately achieve your goals? Well, I, I do totally get what you're saying. And um, I think there's so many people that have proven in history that, you know, um, your circumstances don't define you. And I am a true believer in that because we still, all of us have a choice and that is the most important part. Yes, we might ha not have the best circumstances, but we all have a choice and um, that is in your hands. And that is what is so magical about it because you have the ability to set the path for your future and you have the ability to create 
the path you want to lead for your future. And yes, sometimes it might be harder for others and sometimes it might take a little longer for others. But one thing that I've learned and I'm only 20 is that with persistence and determination um, and hard work and a lot of sacrifice anything is possible and you will be able to achieve your goal it definitely wasn't um, easy for me to to win Miss Universe and um, to represent our country on an on an international platform um, it took a lot of sacrifices I've had to give up a lot of um, uh, you know fun things with my friends and personal relationships have had to you know, take the back seat, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, although I still try my best to, to work on those, but they are, there's going to be sacrifices. And um, if you just keep going and keep persisting, it's going to pay off in the end. Yeah, that's true. You're leading into my next question is, some when we look at the pageant on TV, we, it all seems so so elegant, so so great, so so fabulous. But... Behind the scenes, they, like you said, there's the hard work that you had to put in to, to become Miss Universe and be crowned Miss Universe, um, the dedication, the sacrifices that you made. What else, besides the, the relationships, friends that you just mentioned, what, what hard work? And I think take us back maybe to, to when you crossed ground to uh, South Africa, the hard work that you have had to put in there and also the hard work today going forward. I think something that not a lot of people realize about Miss South Africa and Miss Universe is that it's, it's absolutely a full-time job. You're appointed by the Miss South Africa or Miss Universe organization and, and you are an ambassador for the organization for the time of your reign. Um, and firstly, as, South, as Miss South Africa, I was representing my country, which, you know, I... South, South Africa is such an extremely diverse country and I kind of feel like that prepared me for the role of Miss Universe because I've gotten to know so many different cultures and languages and religions um, all in my own country which I found is so so special and so rare um, but some of the hard work that went in there you know it's really so many early hours they it's not an eight to five job it's a until it's done job so you know you might be on a photo shoot you might be traveling the next morning you get up at three and you start going and in between you have to still look good yeah. <laughs> um, and know what you're talking about yeah. so um there really is a, a lot of hard work that goes into it training keeping it being healthy um looking after yourself and out of all of that, still keeping a positive mindset and remembering that your job is to be an inspiration and a motivation um, and a role model. And um, that also comes with a very big responsibility because there is so many young looking up to you for inspiration, following your every footstep and basically taking everything that you do as, as law and as what is right. Yeah, that's but true. I see that more as an honor and opportunity than, than anything else. You talk about role models and, and you being a role model for so many people. Who, is your, who are your role models, your heroes and, and your inspiration? Well, I mean, I look up to various people for, for various reasons. I can't really, I've never really had one person that I can pinpoint and say, you know, th that is my role model. But um, a woman that has inspired me a lot is Advocate Tuli Maroncela, purely for um, being able to take a stance and standing up for what is right, not just for women, but for, for just for, for our country. And um, I truly applaud her for that and the courage she has had. Um, and that is something that I aspire, somebody that I aspire to be like, not that I'm a politician, but um, I just love her character. Um, Oprah Winfrey, um, my mom, uh, our father of our nation, Nelson Mandela, who has had such a big, I never got to meet him. Mm. But there's just so many friends of mine, people that you might not even know that I just look up to for the people that they are and, um, you know, just the genuine people that they are. Uh, Demi, you started uh, the campaign Unbreakable. Uh, I think when you were crowned uh, Miss South Africa and you had a, a few workshops as well, why did you start start that campaign? So actually, interesting story. Um, I, uh, I won Miss South Africa in about a month after. Um, I was on my way to an event, literally 
500 meters from my home in, in Johannesburg um, on my way to Hyde Park Corner. And I was driving myself. I was like, it's around the corner. You know, I'll meet everybody there. It's fine. And I got hired uh, by five armed men. Um, and it was absolutely the most traumatic experience to have gone through. I was alone in the car. And thank goodness I was that no one else had to go through through that with me. Um, funny story was I attended a woman empowerment workshop about three months prior to my hijack, which empowered me with skills and knowledge on how to handle difficult situations like carjacks, anything violence, violent related um, against women, toxic relationships, etc. And um, in that situation, I knew what to do. I could get myself out of that situation in the safest way possible. I wasn't harmed, um, just really traumatized like any normal human being. Yeah. Um, and afterwards, I started talking about it and, you know, telling people what happened. And so many women reached out to me saying that, Demi, we need this course. We, we want to do this. We, we want to learn the same things you were taught. Um, you know, please, please help us and um, I started Unbreakable and I collaborated with an organization in South Africa called Women Empowered Whip, mm -hmm. um, in short and we went, went around the country I think we've hosted about 10 12 workshops up to date in South Africa only okay. um, you know I'm not this I'm not the, the expert so I don't want to be teaching women <laughs> um, you know a thing what to do um, run away don't run away so that's why I collaborated with with a professional and it's been growing so well I now have an international platform and we're busy building unbreakable and it's just so wonderful to see how it's grown and how it's expanding and you know what it really speaks to a global audience um, yeah. women all around the world go through the, go through the same things every single day and fortunate um, but if I could empower and help at least one woman to be able to know what to do in a difficult situation and to keep herself safe. That would be just make, that would just make me so happy. Yeah. And I think it, it's such a relevant uh, campaign and, and topic to discuss and especially the, the circumstances and uh, well, that we live in uh, for yeah. everyone to be empowered to, to be able to defend themselves in a situation like that. But even if we, if we pull that through to a business life entrepreneurs type of business, uh, you should be unbreakable in business, in life. And uh, so it is a great message that, that I think will resonate with, with so many people. And how I picked the name Unbreakable, um, I, I thought to myself, you know, we might all get a crack or a bruise or shatter a little bit. Um, but in the end, um, you know, if we have this right mindset, if we have the right support system, we can be unbreakable. That's true. Demi, what is, what is next on your to-do, your goals to-do list? What, what, is, what do you want, still want to achieve while you are uh, the reigning Miss Universe and beyond? Well, right now, I am just really focused on being the best Miss Universe that I can possibly be and to be the best representative for South Africa that I can possibly be. Um, so that is, that is a very big goal right now that I'm focused on. Um, I am very busy and I'm traveling a lot, um, especially going the next few months. Is, is, the schedule is really, really hectic, but I'm very excited. Um, and I just really, one of my big goals is just to be, be able to take a piece of South Africa with me wherever I go and to show people all over the world what South Africans are made of. And um, to me, that is just so exciting to be able to share my story and share my culture and um, just everything that, that South Africans are made of. So definitely that I am, I am loving the United States. Um, I've just signed, um, well, I've, I've just uh, officially being represented by IMG models, which is very, very exciting to me. Um, and I've been working with them a lot. So that is something exciting and that I'm looking forward to. Um, furthermore, I am just using this year to lay out whatever I'll be doing in the future um, and to be able to plan for that. So still, I'm not even halfway yet, so, so let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Give me a few fun questions. Um, what is your favorite meal? Me movie? Uh, your favorite meal. 
meal. Oh my goodness, I love a good oxtail and a red wine reduction sauce with some good old Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Your favorite song? Oh, favorite song. Um, I, mm, there, there's so many. Um, <laughs> Now I'm thinking genres, now I'm thinking, well, let me say I love Matthew Mole. Ah, okay. Awesome, yeah, awesome. He's one of my favorite artists. Right. <laughs> what, are, what, what book are you currently reading? I am currently reading The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. Well, your favorite uh, holiday destination? Um, for now, still Cape Town. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hometown. <laughs> yes. and, uh, and, and what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote is, um, if you believe in something, believe in it all the way. No, oh, that is so true. That is and there's so another true. one I'd love to share. Um, it's by Albert Einstein. The woman who follows the crowd is likely to go no further than the crowd, but the woman who is able to follow her own footsteps is likely to find herself in places that no one else has ever been to before. Oh, well, that, that is an amazing quote. That, and that is something to live by, right? Yes, and I truly do. Ah, that's cool. Demi, do, do you have a routine? Um, I, I, when I talk to, to other entrepreneurs, business owners, they all say they've got it, this routine, uh, a morning routine to set them up for the day or an evening routine to set them up for the following day. What do you do? Well, I don't have much of a routine because my days are just all over the place and my yeah. schedule changes all the time. But, um, but I get what you're saying. Um, I, in the mornings, I make an appointment with myself to go to the gym and I take it as a meeting. Um, whether I train with my trainer or by myself, that is very important to me. I love exercising and that is my way. Even if, I, if I'm tired, just to take a walk around the block, just to, you know... Um, um, start your day fresh and um, just to get your body moving to me that is really essential um, I drink a, a 500 ml bottle of water every morning before I before I even get out of the bed it's yeah. on my bedside table um, I will have breakfast uh, first thing after I've exercised or before I start my day breakfast is very important to me because I really feel like it's it's the most important meal of the day Yes, I do have a cup of coffee, strong coffee. Okay. <laughs> um, and I just get, and, and I really try, I'd rather, even if I didn't have a lot of sleep, I'd rather get up earlier um, and have a good hour and a half to get ready and to not be rushed. Um, I put on some good music and um, I just like to ease into the, into the day without being rushed. Think about what I'm doing today, what, what, it, what my goals are for this day, what I want to achieve in this day and just really ease into, into the day. And um, I love journaling. So at, at, in, the, in the evenings, I, I, I love to, to journal. Um, about my day, about thoughts that I've had. And I really take it to, to um, cut off each and every day. Like it's done, it's a done deal. It's, you know, nothing I can do about it, whether it was good or bad, and to start a new day on, on a complete new page um, without thinking about anything that happened the day before. Demi, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Um, coming to talk to us. It was really nice getting to know you a bit better. Just one final uh, question from, from my side is, what message would you like to leave our listeners with um, to inspire them and to motivate them uh, to become exceptional? Well, I just, I think a message that I'd like to leave them with is, and it's something that's helped me personally, was to to go and sit and write down and evaluate yourself. Um, no, go and write down what your strengths are. Go and write down what your points of improvements are, not weaknesses. And, um, and, and, and set goals for yourself. Um, I have set goals for myself and it's so motivating to go and look at them. And um, it's even more motivating to be able to tick them off one by one. So, I'm a big believer in, in writing things down, putting it on paper, because I just feel like it, it then becomes so much more real than just a thought. Ah, Demi, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate your time. I know you are very busy. Uh, but once again, thank you very much for coming on to The Exceptional, talking to our listeners. You are an exceptional role model for all of us. And uh, we are very proud um, that you are proudly South African. Good luck with the rest of your, of your reign. Um, and uh, looking forward to uh, 
to follow you and see wherever you go. Thank you, Francia. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.